Hi, this is Pastor Troy Neuter from St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Shaker Heights, Ohio. And once again, we're coming in with a midweek recap of last Sunday's message. And last Sunday, we went to the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 17. And we see there that the Apostle Paul is called upon to explain the faith that he has been proclaiming to the people of the Greek city of Athens. And in his sermon, if you want to call it that, uh, to the Areopagus, to the philosophical leaders of that city, uh, Paul gives a sermon which discusses a lot about God, but not actually mentioning explicitly Jesus Christ. Now, one thing is true, that throughout the entire book of Acts so far in our lectionary readings, the church has preached just one message. They have preached Jesus Christ, Him crucified, and Him risen. And the Apostle Paul's message at first seems to be a different message. And we might be wondering, has he contextualized it to speak to a different group of people? Has he changed the message in order to proclaim the gospel? And at first it seems as though the Apostle Paul is not speaking of Jesus Christ at all. But if we look at again in his message, we see that Paul, one, he speaks of the eternal creator God who created everything. Well, the Gospel of John in John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things that were made through Him, and without Him not anything was made that was made. So when Paul speaks of the Creator God, he is speaking of Jesus Christ. Paul also speaks of uh, the God who does not dwell in temples made by hands. Well, that is another reference then to Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel, the name that means God with us. Jesus Christ is the God who dwells in the flesh. He doesn't live in a temple made by hands, but he dwells with us in the flesh. And then finally, Paul also speaks of the God who does not need our service, but rather the God who would serve us. And Jesus himself says in Mark chapter 10, for even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So while it's true that the Apostle Paul does not explicitly mention Jesus by name, uh, now, as a preacher, I'm confident, I've studied his sermon, I can tell you where he was going to go next. But what Paul has been doing all along is preaching the church's one message, but doing so in a way that the Athenians would be able to understand so that he might prepare them to hear of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same God the church has always had. He's the God of the early church. He's the God of medieval church. He's the God of the church today. And we proclaim the same message today. That this Jesus Christ created that all. This Jesus Christ is Emmanuel. He is the God with us. The God who dwells with us in the flesh. Not in a temple. And this Jesus Christ is the God who serves you by giving his life as a ransom. I'm Pastor Troy Neer of St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Shaker Heights, Ohio, where we want to come in, hear the gospel, and then reach out with it. Have a blessed week.